Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and um, I had some time today to work on the cover of my tall and skinny journal that I'm creating, so I thought I would come on and just work on it um, with you and show you what I've done so far. So I just used a piece of cardstock and then I covered both sides with this beautiful fabric I have had in my stash forever, and it just goes so great with this kit from Doreen. Look at it, it just goes so good together. So I decided to use it and I just sewed it together and then I added this beautiful uh, double layer tool uh, polka dot lace <laughs> trim from Angel Dream Crafts. And then I stopped right there and I thought, well, why don't we do this together? But I do wanna show you, um, on my last video, I created this um, like an envelope uh, flip and it's I made it to just slip on the front like this and then tie around the journal just like that and I wanted you to see how perfectly it fits and how pretty it is and how well it goes with this fabric I love it so um, you'll just open this up oh well let me get the string off um, and then here's the inside and then I put one of these beautiful little dresses and one of her bows on top and I stickled it all up and it's just so cute and it slides right in there and then I did um, layer up some of the bows um, in the embellishment kit to make this gorgeous bow on top I didn't have time to do that in my last video so there's that it's so cute and then on this part I just sewed um, some strips of music paper with a piece of this fabric and then the extra bit I had left from the postcard that I cut to put here because I don't want to waste any bit of this kit it's all adorable and cute and I just love that so that's so cute so let me set that over to the side and do what I was going to do here and of course I'm using all my angel dream craft goodies but I thought this would be pretty on the bottom and then and also peeking out on the front. But I really want to use this pink um, pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts. It's like a soft pink and I love how it goes on the bottom and then that's peeking out. I thought that would be so gorgeous for the front. And this is all I have left of that because I use it on everything. So I had just enough to go around. So let's go ahead and put this on. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm sorry about the angle of my camera. I like it to be facing um, where we're both kind of looking at it <laughs> the right side up. So I'm sorry you're looking at it upside down. My apologies. I'll try to remember um, for the next video to set my camera the right way. So, it's so cute. All right, let me get that cut off there. Like I try to have a plan going in because I know I can only make a 15 minute video <laughs> if I want to upload it. So I try to have everything out. Um, so yes, that is super cute. I love that. And when it's closed, it looks like this. I'm probably going to put some sort of edging trim across here. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Um, I have some of this stuff, which is so cute that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. That is an option, but I'm not actually ready to make that decision yet. I have this really pretty um, lace that I got from one of my stepdaughters for Christmas, but I only have a snippet left. I loved it so much. But I definitely want to put something here. I just want to cover up all these like um, shabby edges. That's pretty that be pretty here oh look at how pretty that is oh I was gonna pleat this up I think is my what my original plan was to kind of see how that would look pleated up across the top cute or I kind of am liking this how about we do this and then we go ahead and pleat this over that on the top layer because I think I have enough. 
and then I'll just kind of need something to go over that edge which I can find later but I really I think that's so cute and I love these colors together so I'm gonna go with this really pretty um, lace from Angel Dream Crafts I don't remember how she has it listed in the store but isn't it cute with these hearts <laughs> it's so sweet okay so I'm just gonna kind of do the edges of this and where's my spatula so I don't burn my fingers off there we go and then I will burn uh, glue down this side and then I will just glue the top when I'm uh, pleating this that way I don't have too much glue you know oh you guys it's so sweet and then when I tie this on I'll just tie it underneath that so you can see the heart <laughs> Yes, I'm already in love with this journal. I have to say, I've never made a tall and skinny before, but I'm kind of excited about it. Kind of excited. All right, so let me put that there. I feel like I should really do a speed through so you don't just have to see me gluing down <laughs> laces the whole time. All right, I need that edge to be straight. Oh, man. Snagged it. There we go. Okay. Yep. I'm going up. So I want a little bit of these scallops to just stick over the top edge. So let me just start by gluing the edge down. And I do, I think it'll, I just don't like it going straight across. I really think it'll be prettier. If I pleat it up, I just have to not over pleat it because I don't have that much of this left. So kind of need to be frugal about it. So we'll see. So while I'm crafting, I'm also waiting for the uh, company to show up with my new heater. Uh, our heater broke, but luckily we heat with um, wood and the heater is just like our backup heat source but still when you live in Maine you do not want to uh, you don't want to have a broken heater <laughs> so some guys are on their way right now with my new heater so I might have to interrupt this crafty session to deal with that but thankfully they can get here today so grateful because there's still some cold Cold weeks left in this winter, at least for us. Okay. Right. So I feel like that's just going to take me forever <laughs> to do. And there's no, I'm sure you don't just want to watch me pleat that up. So I am just going to uh, finish pleating that up off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so there's that all pleated. Isn't it cute? Um, you can't tell unless you open it, but it's not straight because nothing I do is straight, but that's okay with me because I'm just gonna use this really pretty um, trim from Angel Dream Crafts. If I can figure out which way it goes. Isn't that funny how you just can't tell sometimes? It goes this way. Um, I'm gonna put that across the inside And you're just not going to notice that that's crooked. <laughs> but it's shabby, so does it really matter? Not to me. It really doesn't. All right. But I know some of you got to have the things straight, and that's okay, too. glued the edge down before I cut it. All right. Let me trim that. What a pretty lace that is. Well, they're all just pretty, aren't they? I love them all. All right. 
so now I'm just going to add some glue to the top. And just put that just like that. I love it. That's so cute. Um, I'm not going to glue this, I don't think, right now, but maybe later. And I want to, of course, put something on the edges. Um, I'm waiting for my next design team kit to get here from Angel Dream Crafts because I think there is, well, I have a piece of it. So let me get it and let me show you. And I think, I hope I have more in my design team kit because I love this. It's so, so pretty and I just don't have enough of it. But this is, I think, what wants to go on these outside edges. It's not gorgeous. So, um, hopefully, because <laughs> I love the shine. It just goes so well with everything. So I'm hoping to have more of this and that's what's going to go on the outside. But for the inside, I think I'm going to use this Chinese braid that came from Kim's store because I think that looks nice too. And for the inside, I like it. So I am about the pinks and the blues for sure. I just am so enjoying this color palette of this kit, Doreen. I love it. And thankfully, thankfully, Kim has given me all the right stuff to go with this kit. It's almost like you planned it. Love it. So nice. Because I just like to have edging trims, especially um, with this fabric I used. It tends to fray a lot, which I'm about a little fraying. But a lot of fraying... Is not really great so I know if I glue this trim around the edges it's not gonna fray past the glue so that's nice all right get that on there okay you guys really I know I say this on every video. <laughs> really need to sharpen my scissors. Goodness gracious. Oh, so pretty. I probably should have, if I was going to put a pocket, I probably should have put a pocket before I glue the edge down. So do I want to do that now? A fabric pocket would be cute. What do I have? Do I have? I don't have anything on my desk, of course. But I could use um, these adorable postcards from the kit. They're so cute. But that really doesn't make a tall enough pocket. And I want, it would be nice if this could fit down in the pocket. So, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I have these in my hand. <laughs> And I know I want them there and I can add a pocket later. It's just not that big a deal. So let's get these on. Because I do tend to like a pocket on the inside of the covers. You know. So I am excited about uh, making some things to go in this journal which I will be um, doing some videos um, on that. I know I want to make like an insert. Oh, this lady, um, I'm gonna have to look up her channel before I make my video. I was just watching it this morning and it was like a little journal insert. It was so cute. So I want to try to make one of those. And then I was over on Doreen's channel, which is Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And she had um, these journal cluster charms. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but anyway, they were gorgeous and I was like okay yes I need to make some of those so those will be coming up soon too just so cute and um, of course down below uh, this in my description box I will have a link to um, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures on Etsy and Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy um, where you can get the beautiful things I'm playing with today so I just want to show you where, where I'm at with that. It's so cute. So this will go right here. 
Oh, it's so cute. And once I get the signature inserted, I will put uh, an edge around um, this, which it probably is going to be this beautiful lace I have from Angel Dream Crafts. I'm hoping that's not all I have left because I think that would be so cute on the binding. But isn't that sweet so far? I just love how it's turning out. So thanks for hanging out with me. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow the links below and stay tuned for uh, more of me trying to put this journal together. <laughs> Bye everybody.